Hello, we're going to go over the transmission separator plates. Now, you remember earlier we had friction discs. The friction discs actually press up against these separator plates. You have multiple discs and multiple separator plates, as you can see in this picture. And your disc, your friction disc and separator plate, friction disc, separator plate. And when they are pushed together, they'll actually cause teeth on the separator plate to engage to gear which will turn and this will create motion. Okay, our first question, separator plate is out of warpage specification. Okay, it is plus, it, it's approximately two thousandths of an inch allowable warpage. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take this precision straight edge and we're going to see if we have two thousandths warpage. That's a 2,000 speeler gauge. It will not go in there, so it's within specification there. Okay, the plate shows signs of excessive heat. Now, you do not see any bluing or anything such around here. You would see a lot of discoloration. Sometimes you'll actually see cracking. Now, holes in the plates of this gear are elongated. No, these guide holes are perfectly round. They're all fine there. This is a B1, B2 separator plate. Now if we look in this breakdown right here for the B1, B2 separator plate that is D which would be that one and it's got large holes in it. This does not have large holes so it's component identification on your data chart as to your measurements. The next one is the plate shows signs of severe slippage. Now if you had severe slippage you would have scoring and also you would have excessive heat damage exhibited. And that will cover our separator plate. 